Today, we're entering our favorite country of the world for a second time, the land of the rising sun. Japan is such a huge country, so we didn't get to see everything we wanted to see the first time when we visited here in 2018. So this time around, we're visiting the southern island of Kyushu and make our way to our favorite city of Japan, Kyoto. We are going to stay at many unique places and visit well-known and lesser-known areas of Japan and also eat a lot of delicious food along the way. So we cannot wait to take you along on this ride. First stop, Fukuoka. Good morning everyone. We got through immigration okay, there was no problem at all. You have to fill in the same form you, you would have to do as when you get here by airplane. We tried to get cards for going on the public transport, but you could only buy them with cash. We didn't bring any Japanese cash, so we wanted to uh, get, an a get to an ATM, but there was no ATM at the ferry terminal either. So we ended up taking a taxi straight to the hotel. Otherwise, we would have to walk 20 minutes to get to the ATM and then take a bus and then another 15 minutes to get to the hotel. So we decided to go take a taxi instead. The taxi cost us about 15 euros for a, ri for a ride of about uh, 20 minutes, which is fine. We haven't been able to get a uh, public transport card yet, but we got something way more important, the family chicken. It's uh, fried chicken from the, from the supermarket, and you wouldn't expect it to be good, but it's, it's amazing. At least, that's what they told me. Let's try. Mm. It's crunchy, it's delicious. We've gotten our day tickets for the public transport, so let's go explore Fukuoka. We've made it to Fukuoka Castle. I've heard that it's only ruins left now, so let's see how much is left. The castle itself was unfortunately closed on our visit day, probably because of the Sakura festivities and the organization of that. The upside though is that it was actually really quiet around and we had a relaxing stroll around the castle grounds. The castle itself is mostly frames on the outside and as we couldn't get onto the observation platform, we decided to move on to Fukuoka's largest park with a splendid Japanese garden next to it. After this long morning walk, we sat down at the local cafe and it was time to try out the first matcha tea. I love matcha and this one tasted so nice and wasn't bitter at all. After our small break, we walked through the Ohori Park towards one of the best lunches I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you. 
we just had some Hakata ramen, which is the local ramen variant. Now all cities have their own variation of ramen and since we're now in a seaside town, it's a fishbone broth. Uh, it was actually really good. <laughs> and I don't even like fish soup or soup at all. We're now heading into the city center, where there are a lot of temples to visit. We are now at the Tochoji Temple. And inside they have a wooden Buddha of 10 meters tall. It's really impressive and you must see it. If you're there, don't forget to walk underneath the Buddha statue as well. Next to the temple is this big pagoda. There are so many of these small temples scattered all around the city. You don't have to look them up, you'll stumble across them anyway. So it's really fun to discover the city. After all the history, it's now time to do some shopping. Building is already pretty cool, so definitely worth a visit when you're in Fukuoka. We'll add it in the description below. There's a Kirby Cafe. It's the Shonen Gym, the gym shop. It's where you can... I cannot choose between all this. Mm. I want it all. <laughs> it's mm. mm. The cap itself is delicious, but what's inside it is amazing as well. So I've got the one with strawberry, banana. Uh, custard, warm custard and cream and it's so delicious. I was really looking forward to trying these crepes again. It's now finally time to check into our hotel. Hi, Yokoso! <laughs> Welcome to our really, really, really nice hotel room. I can't wait to show you around, so let's get started right away. We're here in our entrance hall. We have an actual entrance hall, which is amazing because usually in Japan the rooms are quite small, but this one is huge. So here's a place to leave your like shoes and your jackets. Here is our superb room. So obviously the bed is in the center. And it's a big bed. Next to the bed you have an actual seating area where you can have your high tea. When you arrive here, they ask you at what time you want your high tea. We got it already. And it's strawberry tea because it's strawberry season at the moment. So we're super lucky. Let's check out the view a little bit. It's amazing. Over here on the left, there's the toilet. And we've got this really, really nice bath and shower. So it's Japanese style, which means you shower over here and you have your seating stuff here. And there's this little bowl where you put water in. So you shower first, then get all cleaned up, soap and everything, wash your hair, and then you get in the hot bath. The bath up is a bit lower than the floor. So it's actually a very nice and big bath. Okay. And that concludes the tour. Now let's dig into our high tea. On top we have chocolate mousse with marinated strawberry herb scented. There's a strawberry tart. There's a rose and strawberry pavlova. Cookie sandwich with chocolate. Then on this floor there's a matcha tiramisu, matcha and strawberry daifuku. And there's a matcha Swiss roll. Then on the lowest floor, this is all savory. There's a 
Itoshima tomato and strawberry gazpacho, spring bruschetta with salmon and strawberry. And then on the other side, there's a strawberry caprese. We're halfway through our high tea set now, and it's amazing. So I'm now going to try this mochi, and it looks so delicious. Mm. It's melting away, it's so good. Now, in Japan there are restaurants where people eat and then they leave again. There's also, there are also isekayas. Isekayas are the pubs and you're still allowed to smoke in there and they serve all the good stuff. Like skewers with meat on them. And this just melts in your mouth, this beef, so delicious. We have letters covered in, I think, bacon? Yeah, it's bacon. Mm. We dip it. Oh, it's pork. pork. Hi. Ah, mm. oh, is she? We got the beer. And the highball, for some reason, I've got world's smallest glass. Finger for scale. Look, it's Monica Piss. We meet again. One thing Japan is well known for are the vending machines. They're literally everywhere. So we're at the vending machine now. Let's go walk that way and see how long it takes before we get to the next one. Okay, that's about uh, 25 meters. <laughs>